What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Keisha Bass here with AskKeishaBass.com. Um, and today, I want to talk to you guys about, on the Daily Key, um, slimy solo ad vendors. Hope that you guys never see this actual video. I don't know if you guys are out there, if you've actually tried solo ads in the past. I know some of you guys have. You're like, oh my God, Keisha, I tried solo ads. Those things are so scammy they don't work like I just got like all these clicks really fast and stuff and so um, I don't really believe in them I don't trust them or whatever so on today's show I want to share with you guys what you need to know okay what you guys need to know before you run your first solo ad or your second or your third depending on depending on where where you are in your business all right so guys as you jump in drop a comment let me know where you guys are coming in from and I'm going to share with you guys these four components you must know, okay? You have to know this stuff before you actually run a solo ad. If you want to do so, if you haven't already done so, be sure to share this thing out. So click the share button, share this out, so and tag your team members or anyone else that you know or that you've heard that um, have been thinking about using solo ads or whatever and things like that. I want to let you guys know that I am having a 100% free masterclass this Thursday, and I'm going to share with you guys how to go from zero to $10,000 per month in six months or less inside your business without tech overwhelm and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to register for that, which you do, you want to register, you want to go to askkeishabass.com forward slash masterclass. Okay, that's askkeishabass.com forward slash masterclass. Okay, all one word. You want to go over there. You want to register. I only have 100 C on the webinar so if you don't show up early chances are you will miss out on the information I'm going to share on this coming Thursday night 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time all right OBK so I see I have lots of folks in the room so I'm going to get started I'm going to share with you guys this um this here today okay so Number one, all right, so number one, all right, in this, if you're buying solo ads, and just in case you guys are just now joining me, Keisha Bass here, and I've been online since 2008. I help women and moms fire their boss, retire the daycare, build online businesses to the tune of six figures. Um, we have done a multiple six figures just leveraging the internet alone you know, just from my computer, we've been able to make a great, great money um, online. So welcome everybody who's joining. Awesome. Okay. So number one, all right. So we're talking about what solo app providers don't want you guys to know. All right. And so I'm going to give it to you guys today. All right. So if you guys are ready, type ready in the comments, give me a ready in the comments. All right. Tag your team members. If you feel like you got some folks that should know this information, tag them up. Be sure to share this out. If you share it out, type shared in the comments, because I do like to recognize those folks who share this out. Um, because I believe sharing is absolutely caring. All right. So awesome. <laughs> awesome. Ready, ready, ready. I see you guys are ready. Okay. Awesome. So number one is got to have a quality solo ad vendor. Okay. So top, top level is that before we go out and run a solo ad, we have to do some research and actually have a quality solo ad vendor. All right. That is so important for you to do. Now, Quality vendors, will, um, you can find them in many different places, guys. I will say that. Like there are some Skype groups that have um, vendors. There are um, Facebook groups that have vendors. You can actually um, leverage Udemy, right? There are some folks over on Udemy that are vendors. You can find vendors all over. Like I think even Warrior Forum has some some vendors as well. But you got, you want to have a quality, a quality vendor first and foremost, okay? So um, some things you want to look out. You know, do they have a website, all right? So go look at their website. See if they have some sort of testimonials that you guys can can see and see if the testimonials are pretty new. So like if you go to a solo ad vendor and then their their website testimonials are from like 2013 and they don't have anything new and current, then I would, you know, I would question that, right? I would want to ask some questions. Okay, do you have some current testimonials, right? Because most solo ad vendors are have current, they are, they want your testimonials, right? Okay, they want to highlight the latest testimonials on their site so you want to make sure that it's a quality uh, a quality vendor and uh, and ask them a few questions right so um, one of the things that I like to ask them and I'll talk about this I'll probably come back a little bit later this week and talk about it as well but find out when was the last time they sent my offer to their actual list okay 
Write that question down, guys. When was the last time you sent my offer? And you guys all have different offers, okay? So when was the last time you sent my offer to your list, right? And ask them some questions about their list, you know, like how often do you, you know, are this, is this, um, is these, um, is this your list? You know, are you a broker? Hello, somebody, okay? You guys know there are brokers out there now that are selling clicks um, and you want to make sure that you can you can have a, per, a, a provider that you can go back to, right, over and over again, okay? So make sure you have a quality solo app vendor. Ask them if you know, you can send their, you can just send your own swipe and stuff. Those are gonna be, all be important, okay? So that's number one, is a quality solo ad, quality vendor, okay? I actually had some slides over here, guys, I was gonna put up, okay? Let me see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this, hold on. <laughs> let's see oh look it will let me do that okay <laughs> awesome okay so quality solo at vendor that's first and foremost we got to have that okay all right now number two. Oh, this is too cool <laughs> it's email swipe copy okay so number two is email swipe copy all right you want to make sure that you can send your own email swipe copy all right this is important. Many of you um, I don't understand this whole process of this email swipe copy, but it is so important for you to have swipe copy. Ask them, can you send your own swipe copy? Somebody write in the comments, can I send my own swipe copy? Why? Why do you want to do this? Because I'm gonna give you guys I'm gonna give you guys some insider stuff that I found out. Okay, can is it okay if I share with you guys some insider stuff that I found out? You guys, is it okay? Just type it's okay. All right. I just want to know, is it okay if I share with you guys some insider stuff I found out about solo ad vendors and what is actually happening and why some of us are seeing like different results in our in our actual buying of solo ads. Okay. Is that okay? Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, is that what some at some vendors will do is they'll send your your solo ad out and and then it'll just be like a cpa offer so so they'll send it out and it'll just be like click here to win a you know an xbox just let's give me an example okay click here to win an xbox or oh to be you know win a free trip well if they send out something like that you know into their list and it's like and so people are clicking and they're thinking that they're going to win an xbox well when they get to your to your at to your link and it's like join a business is totally incongruent right it's just, it doesn't even make sense it's like these are freebie seekers who are wanting to win something and then now they're presenting with a business opportunity and it's like a total disconnect hello somebody okay so that's why you want to ask them you know can i send my own swipe copy because that way you'll know that your swipe copy is congruent all right so i've given you guys two things so far quality solo ad providers and also email swipe copy if you guys if you guys in the highs if you guys haven't registered for my 100 percent free webinar i'm having on thursday okay i'm going to show you guys how i went from struck stuck struggling and overwhelmed to twenty thousand dollars per month on the internet, you want to go to askkeishabass.com forward slash masterclass and registered, okay? Register, okay? I gotta talk today. Askkeishabass.com forward slash masterclass and register for the 100% free webinar, okay? I want to see you guys on the webinar, all right? Okay, awesome. So let's keep going, okay? So number three, okay? And so I'm going to try to do this, okay? Number three, are you guys ready for number three? Uno, dos, tres. Number three is a capture page, okay? Capture page, capture page, all right? You got, have to, of course, if you're gonna send a solo ad, okay, you do not wanna send a network marketing business, you don't wanna send a, you know, training platform or any of that stuff. I have seen people that have been burnt, okay? Burnt because what? They sent a solo ad straight to a sales page. No, 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 no. No, you have to have a capture page, guys, okay? Because you want to convert leads, okay? You want to be able to convert traffic into leads. The only way that the person becomes a lead is if they put their email address in and become a lead. So you must send a capture page and you want to make sure that your capture page, all right, is congruent with your email swipe, all right? I'm going to slow down. You guys, does that make sense? 
you want to make sure your capture page is congruent with your email swipe, okay? So if you're telling people how to make money from home, then when they get to that capture page, it needs to be congruent with how to make money from home or you are going to lose considerably, all right? Um, I have seen people in another system that I actually am a part of and they wanted to send training. To, no, solo ads are, do not work well with training, okay? People, most of those lists are, are make money people. Most of those lists are great for business opportunities. They are horrible for training, okay? So, you know, so, so make sure whenever you send to a solo ad provider, I see people say, oh my God, I sent a solo ad thing it was horrible. I said, why, uh, you better, I'm gonna tell you why it was horrible because people do not, most solo ad lists, are not people who are looking for training, like a whole bunch of free training, right? Okay, so make sure whatever you send, you know, it is a opportunity seeker. You can find, um, you can find lists, guys. There are people who have lists for weight loss. There are people who have lists for all sorts of different type of things. But you just got to make sure that what you know. That remember, number one, solo ad provider. Ask questions. Is your list good for X Y Z? I have a weight loss company. Is your list good for a weight loss company? Right. But it's still a matter of not sending direct directly to your weight loss page because you are going to lose. You have to still have some sort of capture page which says, you know, discover how, you know, this um, former uh, sugar addict, you know, went from 195 pounds to 150 pounds without killing herself in the gym. Does that make sense, guys? Type makes sense in the comments, right? Does that make sense, right? So now it's like I'm sending out a capture page to capture someone who is a, you know, who's a targeted prospect who's saying, ooh, I want to know that. Now we're working with something. Now we're cooking with Crisco, all right? So and if you're trying to, if you're trying to lose weight, guys, but don't use Crisco if you're trying to lose weight, okay? So, <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, so so you want to look at on your capture page, uh, 40% conversions, okay? 40% conversions on those capture pages. So um, when those go out, then look at that, you know, that's a good range, okay, to convert, okay, awesome. All right, are you guys ready for number four? Number four, number four, number four. Okay, someone says travel ideas, it's the same thing, like, well, who is your customer, right? If you're talking about travel, who is your customer, right? And there are some people who have lists that are more catered to, but present it, eat, present it as a business opportunity, right? I always would say, no matter what you're doing, you know, present the business opportunity, how this person went from XYZ from here to here. Right. How this former, you know, teacher went from struggling, stuck, struggling and overwhelmed to, you know, traveling the world and making money. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I would still position the, the um the that portion because travel customers, you want to do something different for travel customers. You know what I'm saying? Like people, travel customers aren't really hanging out in solo ads. I don't think so. Um, so, okay, so let's see here. So we, number four, you guys ready for number four? Let's go. We're almost done. Okay, number four and I have a 15 minute limit on Facebook Live. <laughs> For myself. Um, so number four is tracking. Okay. Okay. Number four is tracking. Now, before I could tell you guys what you need to track exactly, be sure you register at askkeishapass.com forward slash masterclass. Okay. For my 100% free masterclass, I'm going to share with you guys. And I have a few team members. We're going to jump on and share with you guys how many of us have gone from stuck, struggling, and overwhelmed to $1,000 days on the internet. Yes. Um, actually, I just looked at my account. I took my husband to brunch or something like that. And I came back and I had already made $500 for the day while I was eating brunch. Hello, somebody. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm going to talk to you guys about the secrets and stuff like that, how I did that, how I do it every single day, almost, you know, um, online. Okay, awesome. Woohoo! Number four, are you guys ready? Number four, are we ready? I think makes sense, makes sense. Okay, awesome. So number four is, um, and someone, can someone put that in the comments? AskKeishaBass.com forward slash masterclass. If you guys can do that for me, that'd be awesome. AskKeishaBass.com forward slash masterclass. Put that in the comments for me. That'd be awesome. Okay, number four is tracking. Okay, and I'm going to tell you guys what you want to track in your solo ad. Okay, so the things you want to track from your solo ad. Now, there is some software that will... Um, there's software that will help you with understanding the tracking and stuff like that. If you guys want to shoot me a message, I'll definitely share with you guys the software um, that I use to do the tracking so I know these numbers. If I'm hitting these numbers with a solo ad, okay? So number one is you want to make sure the total clicks were delivered. So if you bought 400 clicks, you want to make sure 400 clicks were delivered, right? That is important that whatever you bought, okay, thank you so much, Ryan, you rock. And whatever you bought, you want to make sure it was delivered. If it wasn't delivered, then guess what? You go back. You say, hey, you, I bought 
so many clicks. And so I only got so this many clicks. And so I, I learned from my mentor, you guys. I'll tell you guys what I learned from my mentor. Is that you want to have a 10% overage. So whatever you buy, you want to have like a 10% overage in clicks. Okay. So you guys, when you start buying, you know, solo ads and stuff, you'll understand this even more. And those of you guys who are already buying, then you'll definitely, you, you know what I mean. Okay. 40, 10% overage is what you want to look for. Okay. But total clicks were delivered. So you want to make sure the total clicks were delivered. If they weren't, guys, go back. You know, say, hey, you didn't deliver my clicks. So um, so you want to do that. Uh, number two is conversions, okay? Number two is conversions. With the tracking software, you can track conversions, all right? So that is how many clicks went to the website, how many converted into leads, all right? Because um, that's that's you you want to make sure. Because then you can go back and scale, right? So if you got a good conversion with that provider, you go back, you scale, okay? Does this make sense, guys? If it does, type in the comments, makes sense, all right? Okay? Makes sense, all right? Okay, so, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure, and I keep forgetting to put up my uh, my little my thing there. <laughs> we're talking about tracking. Just in case you guys are jumping on, this is what we're talking about right now. We're talking about tracking, okay? Awesome. So you want to make sure that last and, first and, um, and least, last and certainly not least, is that you actually got the top tier traffic, okay? Somebody type in the comments, top tier traffic. Okay, you want to make sure that you're getting top tier traffic. Whatever they promised you. So if they said 80% top tier, okay, then you want to make sure you got 80% top tier traffic. If there's 90% top tier traffic, then you want to make sure you got 90% top tier traffic. Whatever the promise was from the solo ad provider, guys, you want to make sure you can track it and you can hold them accountable if they don't do it, right? Because you're a customer and so if they don't, if they don't deliver, you know, and most of them use the same software that I'm using, so it's a reputable um, software provider to really, you know, call their feet on the carpet on. So you can just, you know, say, hey, look, I'm, I can, you know, that you can give them the public stats so they can actually see it as well, you know. So you can say, oh, um, I bought, you know, how many ever clicks? I bought 500 clicks. I only got 450 or whatever the case may be. I only got 400 clicks. Um, where are my other clicks? Okay. So, so this actual will let you guys do that. Okay. So listen, guys, if you haven't registered, okay, go to askishabass.com forward slash master class and register for the 100% free webinar I'm hosting on this Thursday night. 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have a question, drop it in the comments really, 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 really quickly, and uh, and I'll try to get an answered. Let me just tell you guys the the, um, the actual components of a profitable solo ad, okay? Number one is quality solo ad vendors, okay? Number one, quality solo ad vendors is where you want to start. Number two is email swipe, okay? Number two is email swipe, all right? You want to make sure that you have good email swipe, guys, okay? Number three is a capture page, okay? You want to have a good capture page. Make sure it is congruent. Make sure it is, um, it, it has a 40% conversion. Make sure that capture page is good, okay? Like, totally. You'll know, okay? You'll know if your capture page sucks, all right? And um, and you'll have to do some testing, okay? Marketing is all about testing and stuff, guys. You got to test. You got to be prepared to test, all right? You got to be okay. You got to be prepared to test. Okay, number four is actually tracking, okay? We want to track, make sure that we actually getting what we what we were promised, make sure that, you know, all that stuff is good. And if not, what? We go back, we tell them, hey, listen, this is what you promised me. This is what I paid for. So um, let's make sure we have, we can continue because they want you to come back, okay? Like it, real solo ad providers, guys, let me say this. Real solo ad providers want you to continue to come back. They want you to continue to buy from them. So they will honor, you know, they'll, they'll stand up guys and they'll um they'll do and if they don't then you know right that's not someone you want to continue to do business with because you're looking for someone that you can develop a long-term relationship with that you can keep going back buying traffic from you know for however long it's good for your actual offer all right so anyways guys i hope you guys got value out of this today i'll see you all on the webinar on thursday go to askkeishabass.com forward slash master class get registered get your seat get your buns in the class okay get a seat in the class and i'll see you guys on Thursday. You guys have an amazing day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.